24 seniors and one of Tennessee's greatest coaches won their final game at Neyland Stadium, winning 28-10 on Saturday night. The win extends Tennessee's winning streak over Kentucky to 24, and head coach Philip Fulmer never lost to Kentucky in his career. Kentucky took advantage of good field position in the first quarter, and Lone Seaver's field goal put the Wildcats up by three with five minutes left in the first. Despite Arian Foster's strong running on Tennessee's next drive, the Vols couldn't respond as Daniel Lincoln's missed field goal allowed the Cats to lead at the end of the first quarter. Defense from both teams dominated the second quarter, but the Vols scored on the final play of the half on a Jonathan Crompton sneak into the end zone to put Tennessee ahead 7-3 at halftime. Crompton and the Vols carried the momentum to the third quarter and found early success through the air. Crompton. Takes a handoff, straight drop, fires down the field. That's pass in the middle of the field, complete. Down to the 25, to the 20, to the 10, to the checkerboards. Touchdown, Denarius Moore, 63 yards. Jonathan Crompton threw a floater right down the middle of the field, and Darius Moore ran underneath it and raced it untouched for a Tennessee score. The 63-yard strike put the Vols ahead, 14 to 3. Tennessee's use of the Wildberry formation set up the next score. Eric Berry ran for 23 yards to get the balls to the orange zone, and Lennon Creer capped the drive with a five-yard touchdown to put Tennessee ahead by 18 early in the fourth quarter. Gerald Jones used his G-gun package well in the fourth, breaking a 55-yard run that went out of bounds at the one-yard line. Two plays later, Jones finished what he started, scoring to give the balls a score of 28-3 with just six minutes left to play. Two minutes later, the Wildcats scored their first touchdown of the game on an Alfonso Smith run, but it was too little too late, and the Vols ran out the clock to a 28-10 victory. The win finishes the Tennessee career of Philip Fulmer, who in 17 seasons on the Hill won 152 games, seven SEC Eastern Division titles, two Southeastern Conference championships, and the national championship in 1998. The Vols carried him off the field in tribute to his 35 total years at the University of Tennessee. The Vols will return to the gridiron on September 5, 2009, hosting the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers at Neyland Stadium. For UTSports.com, I'm Roger Hoover.